thank you to Boksu for sponsoring this video. More on them later. Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and I hope you guys have been joining our adventure throughout Alaska this year. It's been epic so far. We caught sockeye, we caught big halibut, we caught a king salmon last week. And last week, after I caught that king salmon, I was talking about going up to Fairbanks from South Central Alaska, but we changed route because uh, up in Fairbanks, there's a ton of smoke. There's actually a lot of fires up in Alaska right now. So it's very smoky up there. So we decided we're actually gonna send it down to Haines. Um, and to get to Haines, you have to go from South Central Alaska where we were over into Canada and then down into Haines. So we gotta cross the border again. And that's where we are right now. We're in Canada and we're near the Haines Junction at Destruction Bay at the moment. And I wanted to fish here, but it's way too windy right now. I checked the uh, I checked the lake this morning, and it was just way too windy. So we're just gonna send it down to Haines, get out, get over there, and maybe do some fishing over there. I think the salmon should be running. Oh, guys, check out this river we just found. Just came across it. Looks beautiful. Looks like a really fishy river. I want to fish this really quick. I got my five weight fly rod. Let's go give this a try. We're still about two hours from Haynes. Um, we should be able to catch a fish here. If I catch a nice grayling, let's do a grayling catching cook. That would be pretty sweet. I've never eaten one of those. I just caught my first one the other day. Uh, I wasn't recording, but they were tiny anyways. Let me just go through this. Go through this here. Or maybe this way. Right here. This looks good. Oh, this looks so good. I got the fly rod. And this is a little dry fly on there. I also have a little nymph on here. It's probably too small to see, but you know, I also have little imitation uh, salmon egg too since salmon are are spawning maybe not here but you know in other areas they are and uh, I just had it on I just had this on from the other river that I fished but let's give it a shot fly fishing is not really my thing I'm not really good at it but I usually catch fish on the fly rod I have pretty decent luck with it so we'll give it a shot. Let's go that way first. We'll go, we'll go upstream to start with. Got my bear spray just in case. I'm strapped and ready for any bears. Ow! Mosquitoes in my eye. And I'm ready for the mosquitoes too. Screw these mosquitoes. This looks like the perfect spot for a fish. This dry fly that I'm using is super small so it's hard to see. I gotta let's see. Well, I'm actually surprised that I didn't get anything at this last spot. Nice little drop off right here. A little dark water. I was targeting it, but nothing. Pretty surprised. Okay, well, let's move on. Well, we drove about half an hour and we might have found another spot to fish, another river. It looked really nice from the road. We'll check this out really quick. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty decent. Let me get down there. I got my slippers on. Oh no! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Nearly slipped. Oh yeah, it looks good. Let's find out if we can fish here first. You go ahead and use it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Got a little fishing guidebook regulations for the area. 
Let's uh, just give it a read real quick, see if we can find out if we, this is fishable. I found the regulation for the river, it says July 24th to August 31st, must release all salmon year-round artificial flies only. Which means we can fish here, we just uh, can't keep any salmon or anything. That's okay, we're not going for salmon anyways, I'm trying to get a grayling. So let's get out there again, put my waders back on, I should have just kept them on. Apparently there's a waterfall here, so we're going to check that out. I think you can hear it. Oh, holy crap. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, now let's find a spot to fish. So I fished a couple rivers in Alaska um, just this week and the, all of the arctic grayling they were hitting the dry fly so much so I thought they would be hitting it here too but nothing's hitting the dry fly so what I'm going to do is switch it up I put a bobber on and um, underneath it I'm going to put a couple wet flies I got this mean looking one first uh, there you go and then I'm going to put a, one that's a much smaller, more of a mosquito looking like one since there are a ton of mosquitoes here. I'm trying to get it right under these branches. This tree is overhanging like almost halfway across the river so it's hard to get it underneath there but I'm going to try to slice it right underneath. Let's see if I can do it. Over went down, but nothing there. That was pretty good. I went right under that tree. I'd say that's pretty impressive for a for a real newbie fly fisherman. Okay guys, well we made it to Haines, Alaska. Look at this place, it's beautiful. So here in Haines, right now on this river, there's sockeye salmon and dolly varden. And I'm gonna go for the dolly varden because I only have a five weight fly rod. And I started this episode with the fly rod. So I feel like I gotta finish it off with the fly rod and get something on the fly. So I'm gonna target the dolly varden. And after I get that, maybe I'll do a, I'll go, I'll target the sockeye. Cause they are both running right now. So let's see if I can get one. And if I get a sockeye on this, oh boy, it's going to be trouble. It's a really light rod, so... <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, let's start it off right here. We 
to see. Oh, got one. Oh, came off. Had one there, felt him. But I did a little, a little jiggle, jig motion. There's one here. There's one here for sure. And he's right in this little pool. Come on, we gotta get him. We gotta get this guy. Oh, right here. Right here. This is the spot where I'm gonna get him. Probably right up in here. Calling it right now. Let's see. Let's see. Got one, got one. Yeah, we got one now. Hold it, it's right next to the spot I started at. There we go, baby. Is that a good one? Is that a good one? Yeah, he's not coming up. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, come on up. He's staying down. He's staying down. Oh my gosh. Come on, man. Come on up. Oh yeah, 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 it's a good, it's a good, pretty good fight on the, on the five weight, I should be able to scoop him now though, let's see, got my net, come on buddy, oh, he's, he's staying down, he's not like, He's not fighting too crazy, but he's just staying pinned down to the bottom. Let's see if I can get him over here. That's a good one. That's a nice ball we've already. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Oh, this is a eater. We're keeping this guy for sure. Check him out. Let's check him out. Ooh, hook came off. So I ended up switching to this little hoochie. I needed something pink because I know that's what that's the color they're hitting. And I just went to my tackle box and I was checking for something pink and I found this little hoochie. It's purple and pink, but that's what he hit. Just a tiny little hoochie. Cool. And then I found some pink yarn on the ground. I just threw that on there too. That's it. That's it. Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna take care of you right now. Thank you. Thank you so much for your meat. There it goes. There it goes. All right. Let's bleed him out. It's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice Dolly Varden. Stoked. Yeah guys, we got one. That's a nice Dolly Varden right there. And uh, yeah, goal accomplished. I still do want to get a grayling catching cook going, so that goal not yet accomplished, but we'll do that on the fly rod too uh, another time. But nice Dolly. Should we go cook them right now or should we just fish a little bit more? There's sockeye in here. Now, and in the beginning I said, once I get a dolly, I might try to go for sockeye. So I think I'll fish a little bit more and then try for sockeye. Maybe that'll be the next episode for this one. I think it's been long enough so far. So let's go cook this nice little dolly garden. Now we come up river to this beautiful lake at our campground for the night. Whenever I'm feeling like I'm missing a little bit of my home country, Japan, I need a little boksu, our sponsor for today. Boksu is a monthly subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight from Japan to your door. Each Boksu features a new theme providing a gourmet journey through Japan every month. As a subscriber of Boksu, the first Boksu you receive is called Seasons of Japan. 
and it takes you through a gourmet snack journey throughout the four seasons in Japan. You basically get the idea of what a year of boksu will look like. Following seasons of Japan, you'll receive a new monthly theme box like this one. And this month's theme is Manatsu. Ma meaning middle, Natsu means summer. So midsummer snacks. And a lot of citrus in here, melon, flavors like that are very big in Japan in the summertime. And what I love about the boksu is that, you know, they're they're really seasonal. And each month you get something different, which is awesome. Because some of these things I do know is kind of nostalgic to me, but a lot of them are brand new snacks to me. Each boksu is packed with snacks and it comes with a cultural booklet that tells you all about the theme, where the snacks come from, details of the flavors, and it even teaches you a few Japanese words and phrases. Boksu partners with 100 plus year old family businesses to create signature treats you can't find anywhere else. Look at all these tasty looking snacks in here. I'm gonna give one a try right now. I love how packed it is. It is jam packed with snacks and this is awesome. But I don't think it's gonna last a whole month. I think I'm gonna need the books more often. I'm gonna go in with a little, little jelly. Oh, it looks like peach, a little peach jelly. Ooh. Ooh. That's a pretty looking jelly. There's actual peach in there. It's really tasty. Mm. Wow. Yeah, really miss Japan. I haven't been back in three years. I usually go at least every other year, but you know, the past few years we haven't been able to. And yeah, man, I miss it so much. And the Boksu takes me straight back. So I appreciate Boksu for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. And if you guys want a Boksu of your own, go to the description box, click the link, get 15% off your first Boksu order with code Outdoor Chef Life. And thanks again to Boksu for sponsoring this video. Now let's get filleting and cook some dinner. So this is a Dolly Varden. This is the biggest Dolly Varden I've caught so far. This is about, what, 15 inches? It's pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butterfly him like I did with the salmon. I'm gonna keep the head on this time, and I wanna put him on the stick again, just like the salmon, but we're just gonna grill it. Uh, we're not gonna smoke him for hours like the salmon. If you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. That was a sweet one. Might use a little something from the uh, salmon for this dish too. So just got one through all the, the rib cage. Let me cut his cut there. Right down his head. I just don't want to cut through the skin on the on the other side here. But that looks pretty good. Now I gotta take the center bone out. See how we do that. I'm just trying to keep my board clean. So I'm keeping the paper towel there. That's the only reason. The center bone is pretty much out. There we go. Should I keep the tail on or take the tail off? I, might, I think I want to keep the tail on. Let's see, that might look cool since I'm keeping the head on. Oh yeah, you guys see this right here? I pulled that out. It's the row. Dolly Varden row. Never tried that before. Let's give it a shot. All right, tail back over. And I'm also going to take the rib cage out because there's a lot of bones there. Look at the color on this, huh? It's a nice orange. 
Let me just look light orange. This is starting to change right here. There you go. And this is not quite boneless actually. There's pin bones right here. But I think I'll take that out after I cook them. Much easier. To co It'll come out much easier. But looks good, huh? Nice. Now that we have the fish ready, I want to make a little sauce for it. We're going to grill it, but I'm going to grill it with some sauce. I got some gochujang right here. And I also have a little le lemon. Got some kewpie as well. And we also have this right here is uh, gochugaru. So we're going to use those three ingredients to make a little sauce that we're going to grill with. Is that crazy? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It'll be our dressing as well. That should be plenty. What you got? Little lemon juice. And let's mix it up. Ooh, that looks tasty. That looks like a spicy chipotle. <laughs> Jocelyn's got the fire going. So I'm gonna wait that to kind of turn the coals and we'll throw this fish on there. Let's put some oil and some salt on there. Alright, here we go. We're gonna start without the sauce, just uh, just with the oil, salt and oil. We'll oil this side too. Oh my eyes. Let's let that go for about five minutes and then we'll check on it. Let's go uh, prepare a little salad. Okay, we'll flip the board to our cleaner side. Nothing fancy. Oh, just some leftover cucumbers. Just some green onion. cook our roe too. Just gonna cook it off to the side here. We'll see what happens with that. See how it tastes. Right, let's just go for it. Flip it. Oh sh <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> okay, well that's okay. We only really lost the head. I'm gonna put this sauce all over this guy. We'll sauce him up. I'm gonna flip it again. These stay together. There we go. Alright, and this is gonna be done just in a maybe two minutes. Should be done very soon. Very curious about these eggs too. Let's give the row a try. Oh, hmm. Really good. It's not crunchy really just kind of squishes apart and uh, really smooth um, the flavor is pretty mild mm. it's like tiny pieces of boba <laughs> it's actually pretty good it's not bad not bad well here's our fish should be fully cooked and yeah you know if it's fully cooked when it breaks apart like that um, what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna put it in the salad I'm gonna have a little fish salad today. Look at that, it's actually really perfectly cooked. It's still like nice and juicy. Oh shoot, that's good. Oh wow, all right, cool. That's really good. I wanted to get the skin a little bit crispier, but we'll just, uh, maybe I will after I Take all the meat off. I didn't want to overcook the meat. 
Ooh, a little belly. Mm. I'll just take the skin off. Little trial recipe. Didn't really work out too well. I wanted to actually put it, put this fish on a stick like I did last week with the salmon. Dolly Varden is super good. It's much more mild. It's almost like a white fish, to be honest. We're gonna add some of this, uh, some of the sauce in here. We'll just turn it into a dressing. It should be actually really good dressing. And then we'll just toss our salad. Now we'll just serve. Here's my ikura from the king salmon from the last episode. I didn't show how to make it um, this time, but I've done it before on my YouTube. And I'm also going to have a reel of this on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, that'll be on there. And we're just going to top this. <laughs> What's up? What's up, salad? We got some ikura on there. What? You ever seen a salad with some ikura? <laughs> the only thing I'm missing is croutons. I should have made some croutons or something. I put the skin back on and now it's looking crispy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. What am I saying? We don't need croutons. I just made some crispy skin. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna pop the row in there. There we go. <laughs> Hey, not too bad. <laughs> and Jocelyn's not joining us for the tasting because she's busy. She's uh, reading a book. <laughs> That's what she's busy doing. When she gets uh, going on a book, she's got to finish it. So <laughs> she's just in the van. There we go. Oh, splash zone. We got some local brew from Haynes Brewing Company. And this is the Spruce Tip Ale. Cheers, guys. That's delicious. Let's give our little salad a taste. A little ikura, a little Dolly Varden. Mm. I love that the skin adds the crunch that I was like, oh, we need a little crunch, a little crouton. That's perfect. And the Dolly Varden, absolutely delicious. A little Dolly Varden roe and salmon roe. Salmon roe, well, not the coolest thing I've made, but hey, that's what you call a little R&D, research and development. So next time we'll make something better with the Dolly Varda. Anyways, if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and if you haven't seen the rest of our Alaska journey, it's been amazing. So go back and check those out. Peace.